Right now, the radar is showing a lot of activity off the east coast over the warmer waters there of the Gulf Stream. And as we look at southwest Florida, we're dry from Marco Island all the way up through Port Charlotte and Arcadia after some early morning showers developed near the 10,000 Island area and Cape Romano. And we also had a few along 78 on the northern side of the lake. And you can see a few of those well north there of Okeechobee. But there's the uh, main batch of rainfall here early. Uh, over the next couple of hours, we're going to see the wind come from the east, but flip west. That will happen around 2 o'clock. And you can see the showers and thunderstorms developing east of I-75 and getting a push inland. And that's going to keep showers and thunderstorms in Glades, Hendry, and Collier County a little farther away from the coastline as the uh, big thunderstorms develop over 441 and over the east coast. That change in our weather pattern is going to stick around for the next couple of days. We were fully anticipating that to happen for Thursday and Friday. It's happening a little earlier, all due to the flow around Hurricane Francine, which we'll show you in just a moment. Upper 70s with some low 80s mixed in here, and this afternoon will go up into the low 90s. You factor in the humidity, and once again, Collier County has a heat advisory because we're expecting those feels like temperatures to be around 108 to 110. So another hot one on the way, and the wind is slightly out of the east here early, but that change is coming here this afternoon. That's going to keep our rain chances a little lower before they come back up over the weekend. Let's take a look at tomorrow. Very uh, similar pattern to today. We'll wake up dry, scatter showers and thunder storms inland and again this is all around Francine. I'm going to show you the computer modeling in just a moment. Uh, this storm has doubled in speed uh, since this time yesterday. It's moving northeast at 12 and it's just a matter of hours now until the center of this hurricane moves over the southeastern parishes of Louisiana as a category two storm there. The latest forecast from the National Hurricane Center has winds of 100 miles per hour. Let's stop the uh, computer modeling around two o'clock with the eye and the core of this hurricane sitting just offshore. That's where we expect up to 5 to 10 feet of storm surge and some of those low-lying parishes there in Louisiana, Baton Rouge, uh, New Orleans, and uh, Morgan City there under the gun. And that will continue to pull north along 55 through Jackson, impacting Starkville, Tupelo, and stalling out here over the Tennessee Valley. Let me show you a little broader view. Here we are in southwest Florida. As that storm pulls north, that's why our wind flow comes out of the southwest ahead of that moisture tail that's attached to Francine. And you can see it stalling out there through Friday. So that's why at least over the next three days, we're going to see our scattered showers and thunderstorms inland before we get back to a little higher rain chance there over the weekend with a 60% shot.